starting with this event i would like to invite colonel commandant professor dr rajendra kumar anayat he is he is the vice chancellor of deen bandhu chotu ram university of science and technology sonipat i would like to request rajendra kumar ji to inaugurate this event by sharing some kind words good evening ladies and gentlemen uh, it's a pleasure and privilege to join this elite group today that too on this uh, special day that is teachers day what we celebrate in india uh, the basic reason for uh, celebrating teachers day on september 5th was uh, only to remember dr sarvepalli radhakrishnan whose uh, birthday happened to fall on september 5th at some point of time his students uh, went to him and asked for uh, celebrating his birthday so instead of uh, celebrating his birthday he requested his students uh, you treat my birthday as a teachers day that's the best reward what you can do for a teacher and from 1961 onwards september 5th in india in bharat we celebrate teacher uh i uh, have to start with a word which we use in india quite often that is called the guru uh, the two syllables from sanskrit what we use is gu and ru gu mean darkness in the mind that is absence of knowledge ignorance and ru means light in fact there is no avastha no position called darkness in this world it is only absence of light so when we bring this will go out so this uh, is the basic reason for these two syllables which mix together and in india we also uh, used to chant from the ancient time onwards guru brahma guru vishnu guru devo maheshwara guru sachat para brahma tasmay shri gurave namaha because a guru is a creator a guru is a maintainer a guru is a destructor he can have all these roles so this is the role what we anticipate in a guru's life but i am not much going into the ancient that we are living in this uh, 21st century that to this uh, i don't i cannot even call it as a post covid time but we are expecting for this post covid time so when we look at uh, higher education in the coming time um, a research says that uh, 92% of the uh, higher education by 2050 uh, will be online there won't be a physical teacher as it is so the role of the teacher will certainly change in the coming time and uh, uh, most of the course content uh, deliveries all will be done through artificial intelligence robots because the uh, the evaluation also done by the robots even special apps are developed to, to see that whether any plagiarism is happening or any idea is stolen from somewhere everything possible to check now the uh, the best example is in 2018 arizona state university in fact uh, conducted a biology program uh, in uh, in the tie up with uh, google and labster labster being the number one in uh, uh, virtual labs and uh, even though it is a, a biology course the uh, uh, the students were so happy and the feedback from the students were 90% of the students were really happy the whole course were delivered by robots so this is the way the education is going to change in the coming time so we also have to change in the coming time so like uh, the philosopher stone the knowledge was the knowledge is and the knowledge will be the only instrument to transform the mankind and lead the humanity onto the illustrious path of righteousness justice and peace in the coming time though the 
alchemy of transmitting knowledge from givers to receivers changes on the altar of time living precedents uh, reflecting on the vast mirage of ages stakeholders of academia must synthesize like people like me and you we all have the ways of transmission to capture the present day scenario so as to enable the learners to meet out demands of the progressive and emerging scenario of liberalization privatization globalization what we call it as lpg so the ear bursting alarm of global industries can be heard loud and clear that is only one option in front of us either perform or perish last year i was in fact uh, visiting all universities in london in uk almost 20 universities we visited so we could see the transition very well there i was representing a team from india from haryana those days so in such a situation the synergy of academic process has to imbibe and uh, amalgamate the traditional and the modern methods seamlessly otherwise sticking to the age old chalk and talk method will eventually wipe out the existence of the teachers uh, by challenging his identity uh, and and questioning this relevance so this is an opportunity this teachers day is an opportunity for all of us all these academic stakeholders to rethink rebuild and reincarnate their presence in academia so as to help shape the leaders of tomorrow in this time i was just remembering before coming here a small poem in fact written by rabindranath tagore when he started the vishwabharati university in india he used one punch line as the motto of the university which is called etra vishwam bhavati eka needam it means the whole world is looked at as a nest like a bird's nest there is no barrier no geographical uh, barriers uh, and no 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 change the entire world will be like a world's nest and in a poem where the mind is without fear uh, rabindranath tagore wrote where the mind is without fear and the head is held high where knowledge is free where the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow domestic walls this is what uh, rabindranath tagore wrote on those days so when we look at like a hypothesis like uh, for the post covid scenario how it should function in the coming time how we have to change it is very seriously to think because uh, archimedes when he uh, incidentally noticed overflowing of water from a bath tub while he was taking bath which we all of us know and uh, the principle of buoyancy was just revealed in his intellect in fact it came to him only to save his life because the king gave him an ultimatum that by tomorrow if you are not able to find out the purity of the metal used in my crown uh, what a kind of a scientist you are so the overflowing of water helped him to find out theory of buoyancy but that was just to save his life the same knowledge which he repurposed in the coming time and the shipping industry i mean the navigation industry changed the entire world so all modern systems have a common reliance on digital systems today the same way and in particular the internet of things internet especially artificial intelligence platform economy and uh, the circular economy digital twin all are the subsets of the new uh, fourth industrial revolution which we also have to clearly uh, embrace into our teaching field i mean there is no doubt that this new convergence is going to come in the in the in the, in the near future so indeed the activities of most industries involve the manipulation and exchange of digital information so digital technology and its application for teaching practice means the ability of both students and teachers to use every digital artifacts as integral part of their pedagogical content and knowledge so student teachers need to be aware of what implications this has for teaching learning process and strategies and the 
building aspects in lesson presentation. We all have to think of this. It's very clear. Earlier, we were thinking like uh, uh, a teacherless, a physical teacherless education is possible only with the subjective sciences like history or uh, some art subjects. But today, due to digital twins and artificial intelligence and robotics, helped us to teach subjects like physics, chemistry, and even mechanical engineering, because which do not have any kind of emotions. But tomorrow in the future, where we need to deal with emotions, certainly where we may have to have a face-to-face -face interaction. So universities in the coming time, the physical structure, what we developed will be so much and it may be converted back to a, a garden or a hostel or a facilities for recreation, which we can't say because the number has no meaning. The teacher to student ratio is going to change. It will be at least one is to 100 or much more because the denominator has no meaning. Now I am talking to many people, but the communication is just like one to one. I am talking to an individual, a single. So those who are interested in my talk and my content, they will clearly listen to me. So whether the number is, it is very difficult to manage a classroom with 20 numbers, 30 numbers, because there is a lot of reasons for distraction of their attention. But when I speak in this way, if my audio is clear, if my internet is clear, I'm sure each individual will listen. So the mode of learning, the mode of uh, understanding, everything is going to change in the coming time. So I just uh, remember this Arthur Watts, one uh, very famous quote, which he used to say, a mediocre teacher tells, a good teacher explains, the superior teacher demonstrates, and the great teacher inspires. And uh, just before concluding, I also want to remember one very important poem, which was written by T.S. Eliot, uh, Eliot in 1934, in his poem, The Rock. It's, uh, it's really talking about the epistemology, the theory of knowledge. That is what we are dealing with. It's uh, how, how, how the transition of knowledge happens. Where is the life we have lost in living? Where is the wisdom we have lost in knowledge? Where is the knowledge we have lost in information? The cycles of heaven in 20 centuries bring us farther from God and nearer to the dust. With that note, let me conclude and wish you a very, very happy Teacher's Day. Thank you so much.